In addition to the above uh, mentioned information, we are also assuming that there is a long call option with a strike price of K equal to 21 rupees. Now, this is a case of long call option. Therefore, what we are considering that today the price is S0 and in future the price will be moving either upward, that's why FU or either downward, that's why I have mentioned FD. FU stands for upward for future movement and FD stands for downward future movement. So, as I have already mentioned that the call option will be exercised only when ST is greater than K and the payoff is calculated using the formula that is ST minus K and here we have considered a long call option. We must remember this fact. Okay, ST minus K. So here the value of FU will be equal to maximum of either ST minus K or 0. Similarly, in case of FD, it will be maximum of either ST minus K or 0. Now, as we can see that on the future date, the price of the stock is 22. So, ST is 22 and K is 21. So, subtracting 22 minus 21, we get 1 and it is 0. So, maximum value out of 1 and 0 is 1. So, the value of FU will be equal to 1. Similarly, in case of FD, the value would be 18 ST minus 20. 1. So, what we are getting? Minus 3 or 0. Out of minus 3 and 0, the maximum value is 0. So, likewise, we have to calculate the value of FU and FD. So, the value of FU is equal to 1 and the value of FD is equal to 0. So, what I will do, I will just write the values over here that is 0 and <laughs> 1 over here. So, now we are having a set where we can see that the present price is 20, the future price may be either 22 or 18. The future upward movement is 1 and future downward movement is 0. Now after 3 months, this is the time period for 3 months, after 3 months, 3 months. After 3 months, the price of the stock is 22 and the call option is 1. The value of call option is 1. Now, if I will calculate the future value of the portfolio that we had created using delta number of shares and one call option, it will be equal to 22, that is number of shares, so 22 delta minus 1. Because we are having only one call option and the value of the call option is 1, so it would be minus 1. Similarly, if we calculate the value of this downward movement, it would be equal to 18 delta. So, the value will be either 22 delta minus 1 or it will be either 18. Now, we must remember the fact that we have made, a, made an assumption that no arbitrage opportunity is available in the following portfolio and it is a riskless portfolio. Therefore, the two future values must be equal that is 22 delta minus 1 must be equal to 18 delta. And if we solve for delta, we will get delta is equal to 1 upon 4 that is equal to 0.25. So, in this portfolio, we will be holding 0.25 number of shares and one call option. So, this delta is termed as hedge ratio. This delta is termed as hedge ratio. So, here, now what we will do? We will derive the value of delta from here and plug in into the future value of the option. So, here what we are seeing that the value of delta is 0.25. So, we will plug in 22 multiplied with 0 0.25 minus 1 and on solving we will get 5.5 minus 1 that is equal to 4.5. So, and similarly if you will plug in the value of delta over here you will get the same value that is 4.5. So, the future value, future value of this portfolio is equal to 4.5. Future value of the portfolio future value of the portfolio is equal to 4.5. Now, we will assume the risk-free rate of interest is equal to 
risk free rate of interest is 12%. Now what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to convert this future value into the present value. That is we have to move backwards. So we will discount the future value into the present value. So what we will get? The present value of the portfolio must be equal to the future value that is 4.5 multiplied by e raised to the power minus. This is 12%. So r that is we will convert it to the decimal. So 0 0.12 multiplied by 3 upon 12 because the time period is 3 months. So we will convert it to year. So we are getting 3 upon 12 and on solving this one we will get 4.367. On solving this you will get 4.367. So the present value from the future price movement would be equal to 4.367. Now we are supposed to take into consideration the value that when we had entered into the stock. We had entered at a price of 20 rupees that is S0 and when we had created the portfolio we had purchased better number of shares and one call option. So the future value, we, uh, the forward value we are assuming F. So when we entered into the contract the value of the portfolio was equal to 20 delta minus F and when we plug in the value of delta into this equation, what do we get? 20 multiplied by 0.25 minus f. On solving, you will get 5 minus f. So we must remember that the, when we entered into the contract, that is we created the portfolio, the value of the portfolio was 5 minus f. And Previously, we had already calculated the present value of the portfolio and it came up to be 4.367. Now, what we are supposed to do, the future, the value that we had discounted is 4.367 and the value when we entered into the contract was 5 minus F. So, these two values must be equal. So, we will do, we will equate these two values that is 5 minus F equal to 0, uh, sorry, 4.367 and by simplifying we will get f is equal to 5 minus 4.367 and on solving we will get 0 0.633. So this is the price of the option that is 0 0.633 rupees per share. Okay, so today we have calculated the value of the option using the binomial option pricing model and we have calculated the hedge ratio, delta is termed as hedge ratio and the value of the option we have calculated as 0 0.633 per share. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, there is only one assumption that it is a risk, risk free portfolio and there is no arbitrage opportunity available for the investors. So we will use the same formula or the same process to determine the formula that is used for option pricing using the binomial model in the next session. Thank you. That's for the day.